हेलो ऑल दिस इज सहाना हियर विद टॉपिक सेल्फ इनकम्पैटिबिलिटी और सेल्फ स्टेरिलिटी सेल्फ इनकम्पैटिबिलिटी सिस्टम्स आर जेनेटिक सिस्टम्स व्हिच आर इवॉल्वड बाय फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स टू इंक्रीज द जेनेटिक डाइवर्सिटी ऑफ देयर ऑफस्प्रिंग्स सो फंडामेंटली ऑल दिस सेल्फ इनकम्पैटिबिलिटी सिस्टम्स आर बेस्ड ऑन अ मैकेनिज्म टू डिफरेंशिएट द सेल्फ सेल्फ पोलिनेटिंग पोलन्स विद the cross pollinating pollen so once that is done that is followed by a mechanism to reject the self pollinating pollen as a result self incompatibility trait or the system actually prevents the self fertilization and promotes outcrossing or cross breeding so that that is how there is increase in genetic diversity of the offsprings so this uh, self incompatibility or self sterility is considered as an important agricultural trait because it is useful for breeding of hybrids where hybrid varieties of uh, say economically important plants like uh, which includes the family brassicaceae solanaceae rosaceae and so on so uh, sometimes we have observed that bisexual plants produce both male and female functional gametes but still there is no self pollination that is being happening there uh, or uh, even if the fertilization happens there is no seed setting why, why is that happen uh, that is happening here is the pollen grains fail to germinate on the stigma or even if the pollen grains are formed their growth are interrupted or they are their growth is inhibited so this condition where the pollen grains fail to fertilize the ovules of the same plant is known as self incompatibility or self sterility so this uh, uh, this particular uh, trait or self sterility was noticed or reported first in the plant nicotiana which is a tobacco plant so breeding tests have established that self incompatibility is controlled by multiple alleles of a single gene so this can be studied under multiple alleleism so here the gene for self incompatibility or self sterility can be designated as yes the capital s yes, and which has allelic series yes1 yes2 yes3 yes4 and so on so it goes on like that now basically there are uh, two types of self sterility or self incompatibility the first one being sporophytic uh, yeah sporophytic self incompatibility and gametophytic self incompatibility the first one is sporophytic self incompatibility here it is controlled by the somatic or sporophytic cells of the plant which produce pollen grains all right so the plant that produces pollen grains is called as donor plant here and the recipient plant denotes the plant that bears the egg now here even uh, what actually happens here is even if one of the alleles that is present in the sporophytic tissue of a male parent is present in the pistil of a female parent then all the pollen grains that are produced by the male parent will fail to uh, affect the fertilization of that particular pistil so what actually happens is these are the male gametes and these are the female gametes so here pollen has the genotype s1 and s2 so these are the same alleles uh, allelic genes s1 and s2 is there and here this is the female uh, genotype that is s1 and s2 so this particular system says even if one of them is same one of the allele that is produced in both the donor and recipient plant is same then all the pollens that is produced by the male pair male plant will fail to fertilize the egg of that pistil so what happens is if here both the alleles are similar to the uh, alleles of the pistil here so what happens there is no fertilization that is happening actually there is no germination of pollen grain that is happening there is no pro, uh, production of or there is no development of pollen tube and ultimately there is no fertilization that is happening which means these are these alleles or these pollen grains and these eggs are incompatible with each other 
and this is the second condition where one of the allele in both male uh, plant and the female plant is same but there is difference in these two but what is happening there is no formation of both uh, there is no form uh, there is no germination of both the pollen grains there is no formation of uh, pollen tubes and there is no fertilization at all that is what this system says so for this particular pollen grains to germinate and fertilize the egg it should be the different allele be present here all right the pollens allele the allelic condition or the genotype of the pollen should be completely different than the female plant's genotype as you can see here s3 s4 is the genotype of the male male plant and the s1 s2 is the genotype of the female plant so there is complete compatibility between the pollen and the pistil here so the pollens germinate on the stigma and the pollen tube develops uh, it reaches the ovules and then fertilization has happened here now this is the second type which is called gametophytic self incompatibility it's also called gsi so this is controlled by only the genotype of the pollen grains while in uh, sporophytic it was the sporophytic cells was controlling the uh, germination of pollen grains but here only the genotype is controlling the gametophytic self incompatibility trait here uh, what actually happens here is here if the genotype of pollen is similar to that of the genotype of the pistil then there is no germination of pollen all right but if the other allele if the other allele of the same gene is different then the germination can happen as you can see here here s1 s2 is the genotype of the recipient i um, mean donor plant and then s1 s2 is the genotype of the recipient plant so it so happens that the s1 s2 pollens will germinate but their development is inhibited all right so there is no further development of pollen grains and there is no fertilization that is happening in these two crosses whereas in this condition so this can be told as this cross can be told as completely incompatible all right and this second condition is where the donor plant has the genotype of s1 and s3 and the recipient plant has genotype of s1 and s2 so uh, it is so it can be seen that the alleles s1 are common in both male plant and female plant so what happens the s1 pollen will fail to germinate even if it is uh, even if it start germinating then the development will be interrupted or it will be inhibited uh, to avoid the to or to cut off the further development and fertilization whereas the fertilize uh, the germination happens only in the pollen grains of different allelic nature so here s3 pollen grains will germinate and produce the pollen tube and fertilizes the ovule with s2 so this can be told as half incompatibility or half compatibility so this can be denoted like that and there is third condition where uh, the genotype of the pollen is completely different than different than that of the uh, pistil the genotype of the pistil so here s3 and s4 is the genotype of the donor plant and s1 and s2 is the genotype of the recipient plant so what happens here is there is no incompatibility uh, as such so both the pollen grains germinate forms or develops their pollen tube and it reaches the s1 and s2 ovules and there is successful fertilization that is happening here so gametophytic self incompatibility system can be commonly seen in families like liliaceae graminaceae and solanaceae while the sporophytic self incompatibility systems can be seen in families like cruciferae and compositae yeah here self sterility in nicotiana this was the first reported self sterility by the scientist E.M. East in the year 1925. So here the gene 
for self incompatibility we discussed this which is designated as yes and this has allelic series yes one yes two yes three and so on so what actually happens here is there is cross fertilization that is being happening so the cross fertilization of tobacco plants were not always homozygous like yes one yes one and yes two yes two these allelic pairs are not homozygous they are always heterozygous in nature like s1 s2 s3 s4 s4 s5 s5 s6 and so on it, it is always heterozygous but not homozygous now when two different types of s1 s2 plants are crossed there is no development of or there is no germination of pollens here because this is a, a type of gametophytic uh, self uh, infer incompatibility system. So here what is happening, both the alleles of pollen is completely same as that of the alleles of pistil. So there is no germination that is happening, which means there is complete self incompatibility compatibility trait that is happening between the pollens and the pistil here but what happens in in the case of this cross so here what is happening the pollens are of s1 s3 character and uh, and the pistil is has the allelic nature as s1 and s2 so here only one of them one of the alleles are common that is s1 is common so what happens is s1 pollen fails to germinate and s S3 pollen germinates and successfully fertilizes the ovule with S2 allele. And here it is, this cross shows S3 and S4 alleles of pollen which successfully uh, germinates and then pollen tube is grown and then it fertilizes the S1, S2 ovules in the pistil here. So this exhibits compatibility between the pollens and pistil, while this head, this inhib, uh, I mean this exhibits partial compatibility or partial incompatibility between the pollen and the pistil. Whereas here there is complete incompatibility that is being there between the pollens and the uh, ovules. So these are the different uh, combinations or different. Uh, possibilities of the progenies when there are different crosses that are being made. So these are the female parent, the genotypes of the female parent and these are the genotypes of the male parent. So here whenever there is uh, at least one copy of them are I mean when, whenever there is similar alleles that are present then it will always be uh, sterile or incompatible with each other. So here both of them are similar both of the genotypes are same so there is self sterility that is being exhibited whereas here s1 s2 female parent is crossed with s2 s3 male parent so what happens there is there is a partial incompatibility that is being exhibited because there is presence of one copy of the similar or the common alleles s2 and s2 so it produces uh, it exhibits partial incompatibility and produces two offsprings with the genotypes S3, S2, S3, S1. And when the crosses were made between S1, S2 female parent and S3, S4 male parent, there is complete compatibility between the male and female parent. So there is a production of four genotypes with the, uh, I mean, four progenies with the genotypes S3, S1, S3, S2, S4, S1, S4, S2. And coming to the second female parent, that is S2, S3, when it is crossed with S1, S2, so here what is happening, one of the alleles are same, they are common. So what is happening, there, there exhibits a partial compatibility or partial incompatibility. So, two offsprings are produced with a genotype S1, S2, S1, S3. And while coming to this S2, S3 genotypes of female parent and S2, S3 genotype of male parent, they both are completely same. So there is self-sterility that is being existed 
between the male parent and female parent and then S2, S3 female parent crossed with S3, S4 female parent. Even here, one of the allele is same. So, there is partial incompatibility that is occurring here. Hence, both uh, the two offsprings are produced with the genotypes S4, S2, S4, S3. And same way here, the third female parent with the genotype S3, S4, crossed with S1, S2 male parent. So here the genotypes are completely different. The alleles are completely different from each other. So what happens? There is complete, uh, there is a diversity of the genotypes that is produced in the offspring. So S1, S3, S1, S4, S2, S3, S2, S4. These are the different uh, genotypes of the offspring that is being produced here. And when S2, S4 is crossed with S2 and S3, then there is partial incompatibility that is occurring here again. So there is only production of two varieties that is S2, S3, S2 and S4. And when S3, S4 is crossed with the same uh, genotyped male parent, then self-incompatibility or self-sterility occurs between the pollen and the pistil here. As a result, there is no fertilization that is happening and then there's no offsprings that is present. So that was about the self-sterility or self-compatibility.